Hi Stampers, it's Kelly Ants from Stamping with Kelly and I'm so glad that you're joining me. You might be watching live, you might be watching the replay on Facebook or YouTube, but regardless of how you are tuning in, I just want to thank you for joining us. I've been a demonstrator in Canada for over 16 years and I'm so happy that we can use this platform to connect and craft together. The projects that I'm making today are project supplies that I've prepped and sent out to people all over Canada. So if you're watching this in the future, please reach out to me. I may have this class still available or other classes available for you to craft along with me online. And all you need are some saying stamps, neutral ink pads, adhesives, and maybe some additional products that might take it up to the next level like Wink of Stella, blending brushes, things like that. So um, I'm just going to tune in here and just make sure that we are live. Okay, yeah, it's going in here. So if you guys are watching, please just comment along and just let me know where you're watching from. Uh, and your name, of course, will pop up as well. But it's so great to have you on here. Can you believe it's August? Um, so for those of you watching the future, it's August 22nd. And I now have a four-year-old daughter. <laughs> My youngest just turned four yesterday. And uh, oh my goodness, I just can't believe where, you know, like the time is going. I can't believe it. So um, we gifted her this amazing Barbie house yesterday that uh, is like three stories high that I've been hiding in our garage. <laughs> Not very well, because every time we would go out there for the last six months, she'd be like, hey, what's this up on the top shelf there? When do I get to play with that? But it's so funny because I actually purchased it when I was... I don't know, five months pregnant with her and I found out that we were having a girl and I don't know, you know, Facebook buy and sell, right? It's sometimes trouble, but um, we gifted her that and a whole bunch of Barbies and she's just been playing nonstop, having so much fun. Now, um, August is kind of a crazy month for us because of course, you know, we're here, there, everywhere camping and then we're gearing up for school as well. So now that we're creeping up on the end of August, I wanted to invite you to an in-person class that I'm holding next week. This is a really special class um, because it's a stamp a stack. It's my favorite kind of event. So <laughs> please don't mind me. This is like the old school version of a slide, right? So um, here are the details. If you want more information, just reach out to me. Again, this is for people who are in the Edmonton, Alberta, Canada area. Um, and unfortunately, this one is not going to be online. This stamp a stack though is going to be so much fun. There's not going to be any instructions. It's going to be that simple. Everything is going to be laid out on the tables perfectly um, simplified for you to understand what you need to create each card. We are going to be creating 22 unique card designs. They're going to run the gamut of Christmas and all occasions, nature, floral, um, like love and anniversary. You can even do some Valentine's Day in there. There's some summer um, designs as well, masculine, feminine, it's everything. And so we're going to be using eight different kits that I'm going to separate the supplies out onto the table and for three hours, or if you can't make it for, for the full event, just come and stamp your sayings and then you can assemble them using the pictures from the kits as well um, at home or wherever you choose. So this is going to be running on Tuesday, August 29th from 6.30 until 9.30. And again, if you can only make it from 7 till 8, just come and have fun for that time. I'm really looking forward to this event because we're kind of in a weird time, right? Like where summer brain is still happening, but our brains are kind of starting to gear up again for the fall. I know in Canada, most schools are starting kind of after the September long weekend. So um, this is, yeah, kind of just right before we have to be back on duty with with our uh, brains intact, right, after the summer fun. So this kit, uh, well, this class of 22 kit cards is only $28, and that includes paper envelopes for all of your projects too. It's a phenomenal deal, and I'm sweetening that deal even more because I'm including a $5 voucher towards a kit of your choice. This can be a kit from my kit stash of um, past paper pumpkins or even other kits that Stampin' Up! has offered over the years that I have in my collection for sale. And if you want to preview those, again, just reach out to me. I'd be happy to send the link for that. Um, or you can use it on a 
kit from our online kit collection, which leads me to my next slide here, which is that we are having a kit sale. So before the end of August, we actually have all of our kits up to 30% off online. These are from our kits collection. They're not past paper pumpkins. They're not um, like full or refills or add-ons for paper pumpkins. So not paper pumpkin, but anything from our kits collection. This is what's going to be for sale right now up to 30% off. So if you're looking at coming to my class, just make sure you let me know what kit you want before the end of the month and I'd be happy to order that for you and you'll get to double up on your savings, right? $5 off and then also, oh, I'm gonna sneeze. I was cleaning with Mr. Clean down here and it's still really potent, even from yesterday. Oh, um, that's that lemony fresh smell just gets right up there, doesn't it? <laughs> so some other promotions that we're having, um, this slide here is just a reminder of bonus days. So we're nearing the final days of our bonus days redemption. These were $6 vouchers that we earned with every $60 order increment spent in July. And now in August, we can redeem those. So if you have a, a bonus voucher, just make sure to reach out to me and we can get that redeemed before the end of the month. I have an order going in tomorrow and then probably another one going in on uh, August 31st as well. So let me know about that, okay? Uh, we also have a special, this is my $100 minimum spend special for August and you're gonna get two pieces. And I thought, oh my gosh, these coordinate so perfectly with our first of our official club cards tonight. Um, not the bonus card, but the first official club card tonight. And uh, they're such good quality core supplies. So you'll get the Share What You Love Designer Series Pearls and you'll also get two spools of Baker's Twine. But this is like a really fine Baker's Twine. It's really thin and dainty. I love it. So 10 yards of each of those in the white and also in Blushing Bride. So if you are getting close to that $100 minimum, just make sure you top it up and then you'll get these items for free. Okay, what else do we have to say? Um, we've got some amazing paper pumpkin um, that's coming up. So this is if you sign up now until September 10th. Paper pumpkin is our uh, subscription service for crafting. It arrives at your door, all inclusive kit, including everything that you need to create, usually um, seven to 10 projects. Uh, usually it's eight or nine. Um, this one here actually has a bonus add-on as well, which I just ordered today. It's this gorgeous journal and it's eight and a half by 11 size, I believe. It's like a full sheet of paper size and um, you can use it and decorate it more, but it's got this gorgeous gold foil on it too. Um, this is all inspired by the founder, one of the co-founders of Stampin' Up! 35 years ago. Um, Shelly Gardner started this with her sister and so Shelly Gardner has since retired as the acting CEO but now her daughter is the CEO and um, so this is actually inspired by Shelly Gardner and her um, she practices a lot of gratitude I've met her like a few times and I know her really well through some close friends as well and she practices gratitude journaling all the time and um, I just love the essence of this kit and I just know it's going to be so beautiful. I Even just the picture of this, this little sneak peek is really um, <laughs> totally up my alley. It makes me feel calm and makes me feel relaxed and uh, I really like the colors in it too. So if you're interested in that, just um, reach out to me. We can get you a prepaid code and that will earn you some almost, if you top it up with a little $5 item, um, you you will receive these club cards that we're about to create together uh, for free. So uh, again, it might be confusing, but just reach out to me. I hope I'd be happy to walk you through it. This last month's paper pumpkin was called Meaningful Flowers. And this one just arrived at my door. Was it yesterday? The day before? I can't remember. Oh yeah, it was been would have been yesterday, I think. Uh, let's take you down here. Just making sure. Oh, Michelle, it's good to see you. Yes, kit sale, kit sale. Um, this one here actually includes a bonus stamp set, which I love bonuses. They are so much fun. 
And this is our distinctive style stamp set. Sorry about my, my um, camera. It's, my camera's slow today for some reason. There we go. Um, so this one here is the bonus stamp set and it's in our distinctive style. So that means that when you stamp it, it's going to have this really like um, hand kind of watercolored and um, uh, distressed, like not distressed because it's, it's really fancy looking, but um, it's this very, it's kind of this photorealism, I guess is what I'm actually going for. This photorealism is effect. And then this is the stamp set here that's included in the kit um, to craft the cards. So it says, you are capable of amazing things. You rise above the rest. Your friendship is unforgettable. And then you got, to, I don't know what you thought this was. Maybe you thought it was like a um, pizza. <laughs> it doesn't look like a pizza. It's supposed to be a lily pad. And then some beautiful flowers there too. Oh my goodness. There you go, double duty, just in case you need to do like a pizza party. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, these are the cards here, which we can see in completion. I haven't had a chance to make these ones yet, but I want to show you what they look like with all of their different components. So um, my favorite part of these cards is the back side of the actual card base itself has... So this, this is how the card opens. And then the back side actually has like a, a definition of the flower that's featured on the front. So this lotus flower. I'm saying water lily, but lotus flower, I guess, is um, the proper term that they're using. So then we've got this vellum piece that goes over the top here as well. And then um, some of the other components of the kit are these die cut banners that you just stamp the sayings on and we've got that lotus blossom on it with a lily pad and then we get to this other card design and this one's so cool so it comes like this again you've got the definition of the flower on the back so forget me not flower and then they go just like that and open up and then you've got these die cut beautiful um, watercolor pieces that you can put together for that as well now the envelopes for this <laughs> i don't know if you're going to use them as envelopes or are you going to cut them up as design series paper maybe <laughs> they're so beautiful and they're printed all the way down and even on the back side here so you could really open those up and take them all apart make them into some gorgeous projects it also includes some dimensionals here even some sticky strip that's even half the thickness of our normal tear and tape sticky sticky strip and twine and then these beautiful little clear epoxy dots so this kit i do have some extras and if you want one of those just reach out to me and let me know and i can reserve that for you i can't officially sell it until the 11th of next month in September, but I can definitely reserve it for you, okay? So please reach out to me. Oh, and I forgot to mention the ink spot included is the Pretty Peacock. Oftentimes, when you first order your um, paper pumpkin kit, you'll get like a smaller version, a paper pumpkin version of this size of block, which will fit all of the subsequent um, kits, stamps, that are coming in your monthly subscription. Um, if you don't have a block, just reach out to me. I have one of those for you too. Okay, now I'm going to talk to you about our previous month's kit, which was Fun in the Sun. And so this is available to be purchased and picked up immediately. This is such a fun kit for um, some <laughs> happy crafting. And it doesn't have to be summertime either. It can definitely be... Um, like all occasions, right? Like winter getaways. I know here in Edmonton, Alberta, in Canada, we like our little getaways. Oh shoot, I was gonna grab the one that I actually opened here. I'll have to show that in a different video. I might have even showed this last month, to be honest. I, I'm remembering talking about the sun, the little graphic sun, all the great sayings. And then these are actually trifold, like fun fold cards. So, We've got three different designs and you get three of each. The little surfboards, and you can see here, there's a, a little bit of a peek at, as to how this folds up. 
but it's this like really fun easel with all these 3D elements. And so you've got the sunset and then also the beach scene there too. So if you want this fun in the sun set, uh, I can't remember what color, I think it was Daffodil Delight ink spot to go along with that one. And then I also last night was mentioning about how much I love the paper pumpkin um, stamps that I've received over the years. Now these are just our memory keeping books and the pocket pages which you can use to put photos in and journaling and do a, a version, a quick version of scrapbooking. But I actually use them to store all of my paper pumpkin. And so this is something that I always grab whenever I am stamping camping. You guys know how I like to craft on the road. I've got actually three of these binders that are filled with all kinds of miscellaneous stamps. And I just love it because the sayings are so nice and small. Um, they're kind of perfectly sized to fit on many different projects. You can see they're kind of smaller maybe than uh, many of the catalog versions of the stamps. Um, these ones, I just know whenever I grab these little binders that I will have a stamp for every single occasion. And so that's why I like storing them in these little binders and then having them just ready to go. Grab a neutral ink spot and some cards and I can craft to my heart's content in the car, in the trailer, wherever I am. Now, the next thing I wanna to talk to you guys about is something extremely exciting. Do you guys have your copy yet? Do you, do you? Oh, I gotta switch over here so that I can see your, see your um, comments. Oh, it's so good to see you. Have you poured over this, uh, Michelle? I just know, oh, I can't, I can't open it up. <laughs> rules oh my gosh I hope you guys didn't see anything I just like want to flip open these pages so much but as a demonstrator I can't show you the inside of this yet online until it goes active on September 6th Ooh, naughty naughty um, but I can give you a copy and you can shop to your heart's content there are so many pages let's just see here like 83 pages oh my gosh and by the end of this catalog um, that I was looking at digitally, as a demonstrator, we place a pre-order a month in advance. And so I was looking at it digitally before I received my hard copy. And by the end of scrolling down, I was shouting at my computer like, ah, oh, they did it. They did it again. Like they've just, even the sets that are reminiscent, I would say of like, I've been a demonstrator for over 16 years. Sure, there's going to be themes that repeat, right? Like that's just people's interest. There's going to be the same kind of things popping up because people love the same sort of things. And so um, anytime that they've even had kind of a similar theme, I just feel like they've plussed it. Everything is raised up a notch. Um, now I can show you the, some of the items in the catalog. I can't show you the catalog pages, but I can show you some of the items in the catalog. And one of them is this Merry and Bright stamp set that I love. The front of this is really shrunken down actually, because when you look inside, it's quite large. Look at how big that nice bulb is. So I use this and the coordinating die pack to create some really fun, non-traditional colored um, swaps for Christmas. Do you guys like these? Aren't they fun? This one here is using um, some of the new colors. So this is Bubble Bath. Bubble, yes, Bubble Bath. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Um, and then the new yellow, which is, oh no. I should have looked this up. How come I can't remember it? Shout, shout it out. <laughs> um, and then we've got Coastal Cabana and Lemon Lime Twist. And then, oh my God, okay, Lemon Lolly, Lemon Lolly, there you go. But putting these colors together, um, I just thought was really fun and fresh and made me feel okay about doing a Christmas card while it is August. <laughs> we are gonna be making a, another card tonight for Christmas or winter themed, whatever you wanna do. You can make it Christmas or you can make it winter themed. But Merry and Bright is so fun because it includes all these really great bold sayings and I really wanted to play with the boldness of that and then the scale, like this enormous scale of these 
adorable little uh, light bulbs. And if you want to go crazy, you can actually put the little filament into the bulbs as well. So it's some two-step stamping. I want to leave it a little bit clean, so I didn't put it on this one, but I really like the idea of that. So this is a swap that I sent to Vegas. I'm not going to Vegas, but I sent it to Vegas. There's a conference going on right now, and unfortunately, I was not able to secure child care and everything like that. So I'm unfortunately not going, but my swaps are going. So I can't wait to show you the swaps that I am receiving in return. When my friend Lauren, uh, my friend and amazing downline Lauren is headed there. I think she went yesterday. And uh, so she, no, it was this morning actually. Um, so she's down there and she's going to be swapping out all of my cards for me. So appreciate it, Lauren. Shout out, shout out. I also have a huge stack of supplies here, so we'll see when we end, but we might have to cover that in a different video. Who knows? We'll see here. Um, that's like an unboxing video. But what we're going to do first is craft our bonus card here. So it might look something like this. It's going to be a paper envelope. It'll be the only paper envelope in your pack. It's feeling like it's dark here tonight. Like I've got 17 lights on. Yeah, everything's good. All the lights are on. It's probably because I'm staring right in a light as well. So this is actually from a past paper pumpkin kit that I have available for purchase from my kit stash. And this one's called Celebrating in Color. And this beautiful pack was um, right it was in May I think of 2022 yep and it includes the basic gray ink spot and this awesome stamp set this is if you purchase the full kit you can also purchase refills and so that's what I've used for us to create our projects here tonight now I'm, I like showing that you can use the refills even if you don't have the full kit because there's so many stamps that you have in your collection probably that will go along with it or even just make the cards just like they are. So we're not going to be using this stamp set. We're going to be using some other ones that I um, can recommend or even just pull from your stash. So in this kit, there it comes with the five in colors and those are um, whoo, Parakeet Party, Sweet Sorbet, Orchid Oasis. What's the darker one? Oh boy. You know, it says it on the back here. How quickly can I look it up? Orchid Oasis, Parakeet Party, Starry Sky, Sweet Sorbet, and Tahitian Tide. That's the blue one. You know, my brain, you guys, it, it has remembered a lot of colors over the years. <laughs> and, uh, for some reason, it's maxed out or something. I'm going to blame it on my kids, but <laughs> let me show you how to put these ones together. Okay, we made two of them last night for our um, in-person, not in-person event, like it's interactive event, I should say. So these are the ones that I made last night with them. These come together so quick and easy, you guys, but you can definitely take them to the next level um, very easily. So this paper here is already pre-printed and it's already got this beautiful wave on it which coordinates with the card base that also has that wave on it. And so we just glued that right on there with some stamp and seal. Now it comes with these like gold embossing images on there already. And then this best wishes, I just popped that out and then put on the three different um, little dots here that match matchy matchy are in color this one i put on with um dimensionals here but you could definitely take this up a notch by coloring this in with any of your markers right or before you attach it to your card you can even use a blending brush and put some color on there so this is a really fun elegant card which looks so beautiful with its envelope that coordinates but it takes very little work so i love a card like this we're putting together and just having them on hand or you can even gift them this kit makes uh there's five card designs and you make two of each so it's got 10 cards in this kit it's actually an incredible value now this card here again super simple for this one um i think there was a saying in the set that said like you make me and then happy so you would put this up above but i just put happy and then birthday 
So this came from our Sweet Citrus, which has a birthday, and I just inked up that one section, but you can use any stamp that has birthday on there that's going to fit on that size. I put dimensionals underneath this blue watercolored piece, put it under this gold happy, and I put it under the birthday as well. Then one, two, three dots, and that card is finished. Now I should mention too that um, included in this kit are these awesome little pouch pouches here. And when you put these together, I'd recommend using some tear and tape. And these are going to make a little gift card holder that you can put on the inside of the card. So you can put them horizontally or vertically, however you choose. Or you can, you know, just tuck it inside the envelope. And then when you gift this card, who knows, you might have a gift card, you might not. So um, you might choose to include it at that point. Or you could use this as a scrap of designer series paper, which is always fun too. Nice to have that ombre already done for you. There's a whole bunch of images um, that you could use for dies and you could cut it out like even some sayings that would be really cool to cut it out as a saying. So now I've got my tear and tape just going to take the backing off. Oopsie daisy. Always easier said than done. I usually use my take your pick tool. Why am I not making my life easy for myself is my next question. This one just makes it so much easier. Here we go. And so this card here was a horizontal version, so I put it in horizontally and then it just tucks in that way. This one, oops, stuck to my finger now. It's so sticky, that tear and tape. This one, I'm just going to put it in vertically, just like this. Front inside of the cover, and then now you can just slip that gift card in there and gift that perfectly. Okay, so that's two of the cards. Now we're going to make three cards here really, really fast. And I'll show you how quickly these come together. Which one should I do first? Maybe this parakeet party one. I love these coordinating envelopes. And just make sure you're getting everything from there because the these little three dots should be along with them. I'm going to put these to the side because now that I've shown you one, you get the idea and you can kind of just go from there. This is such a cool project because it has these ombre watercolor pieces and you just separate them. So one, oopsie, and they're actual watercolor paper. They could have just printed the texture onto like a plain flat white cardstock, but I love that they took it up a notch. They gave you that ombre watercolor look, and then you also have the texture of the paper, which makes it just seem that much more realistic. So phone folder, and then I should have put these all over because I'm going to put these on there. Some dimensionals. Surprise, surprise, right? You guys know I love my dimensionals. They're just such an elegant, easy way to elevate your project, make it seem so much more interesting. So now I have a little tip for you. I hope this works for you. Um, and if it doesn't, then you just find a method that works for you, okay? Because it's a way of centering these five pieces. I'm using a lot of dimensionals. Maybe you've never seen me use this many dimensionals on a card, hey? So I'm going to go kind of close to the side here. Just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to go equal on the other side. So now I'm just lining it up and making it the equal dimension there and there. Oops. And top and bottom too. Now you could go purposefully crooked on this if you wanted to. Like if you knew yourself and you knew, well, I don't know. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Um, you can also use, if you wanted to line this up, you could use like a piece of paper that would help out. And then now you're going to center it between the two of them. I maybe could have gone over a little bit, but that's, this is okay. I'm happy with this. 
like individual strips. You'll have to take a look at the sample here too and see how close they did it. Mine was definitely coming in as equal spacing, but the spaces might just be a little bit wider than their sample, I think. I really wanted to give myself some room here. I don't mind that at all. If you wanted to, you could play around and adjust that. But this happy is going to go on there. Let's see what they did here. Oh yeah, they went in a little bit closer. Can you see that on that sample there? That looks really cute too. I'm happy with mine. Done is better than perfect. Perfect is for the second one in the set, right? <laughs> That's why it's good when you get a kit that comes with multiple cards. You can play around with the design and you can try it your way and then you can try it their way. Um, there's even a great Facebook group and they've got fabulous ideas, alternatives when it comes to um, um, your paper pumpkin designs. So people start creating and posting on there pretty much as soon as they get the kits. Okay, uh, happy that you are my person. So this one says so happy and then I think I'm going to use that you are my person. And happy day for me that this is actually photopolymer because that makes my life so much easier when it comes to stamping on this very long thin strip. Isn't that crazy? So I'm going to use the matchy matchy color that goes along with this one. So parakeet party. You could again choose to implement some different colors. Wouldn't this be great in a rainbow too? You could put rainbow colors like uh, markers and just rainbow your way through that. So I got really excited and I inked up actually both of those things. I didn't want to do that. I just want to ink up just the one section. You can use your stamp and write markers for this technique. I'm going to use my ink pad though. To be honest, I've started just buying my stamp and blends because I find those are the ones that I go to over and over again. I'm just using my stamp and mist and my scrub and cleaner here that's going to help to clean this off and dry it. And then I make sure that there's nothing on there. And now I'm going to be a little bit more careful when I'm inking up. And I'm just going to ink up the text that I want. You could also do masking for this. Um, that's a whole other technique. But it's worth giving a try if, you know, you want just a little bit of that stamped message. So happy that you are my person. Oh my gosh. So now this says happy that you are my person. This makes me really happy. I stamped it straight and everything. Woohoo! I didn't even have to use the best feature of paper, which is that it has two sides. <laughs> I'm going to use uh, one of the best features of dimensionals, which is that it has these border pieces that you can cut up and make them exactly the shape that you want. There we go. Oh, you use this kit to gift some cards to grads that you know. Oh, tucked cash and the gift cards in the pockets. They were awesome. Oh, I love it. What a great idea, Michelle. There we go. Yeah, she's saying that uh, she loves that. I think it was that suite of the Merry and Bright. I thought of you immediately too. That designer series paper is just you on a paper, I think. It's like the most colorful and vibrant Christmas paper you've ever seen. It's even got ones that are like rainbows, which maybe aren't even Christmassy, but you could use them for all different occasions. Here we go. We got your three little dots there. Happy that you are my person. And now I'm going to get going on the next one here. This one is a little bit different. This is the Orchid Oasis color. Again, I'm going to just pull out, you can see again the beautiful envelope, pull aside this piece here. And you'll see that this tag has you. So I'm actually going to do um, hello you, I think is what I was thinking. You could also do love you or just for you. 
That might be fun. That one's photopolymer. Let's do it. Should we do it? Does it fit? Just for you. Yeah, let's do it. I switched it up from what I even thought I was going to do. So, ringed of nature, wonderful thoughts, timeless arrangements, something fancy. These are all really great sets that have a lot of awesome sayings that you can ink up in full or in partial to create these projects. But I'm sure you have some from your collection too that would be really good. Now, Matchy Matchy, Orchid Oasis stamp. Yeah, this is a set. This kit is one that um, I've been crafting with, well, since it came out, so for a year, and I'm still not tired of it. I just love this kit. And so even if you've made it before, this might be one of those ones that you just want to have in your stash again because you enjoyed it so much. Just for you. Oh, it's so cute. I'm having really good luck stamping tonight. <laughs> I shouldn't say anything, should I? Yikes, don't say anything. Oh, look at this, you guys. This um, this stamp here, this U, stamped on top of the other U, and it actually distressed it a little bit. That's interesting. I don't mind the look of, it, of that at all. You might not want to have that. If you don't want to, just make sure you cover up your stamp with some Mac masking tape or something like that. You could even just take a piece of cardstock and kind of cover it up so that you don't know where it is. But that might be tricky if you're trying to line it up, right? <laughs> I'm thinking this through as I go here. Like that might not work. Okay, so on the back side of this watercolor paper, I'm going to put on some beautiful dimensionals to spice up our project. This one is really reminiscent of the envelopes that coordinate. This piece here is extra, so you can just do what you will with it. This is on a different project. Look at how simply this comes together. But that gold just really makes it special, doesn't it? So just for you, and then let's do one, two, and three. So cool. So easy, right? Right? <laughs> okay. Then we've got our last one here, which is another gorgeous, simple card. You've got this watercoloring, you've got the gold embossing on there. You take out this U and put that to the side. And then we're going to put on dimensionals here as well. This is so fun because it just coordinates perfectly with the U that's already pre-embossed. And we'll just put this right over the top. And this is the one where I'm going to put love U. Kind of perfect. It was just my 10th wedding anniversary with my husband. And we were away at the lake, and so we didn't really have a chance to celebrate. So we we're actually going to go out on Thursday night to a restaurant that I love. Love, love, love. But unfortunately, they just announced that they're closing their doors. Chartier in Beaumont is such a local legend, I think. And um, I'm really sad that they are going to be shutting down as of the end of September. So if you have a chance... And you're in the Edmonton area, show some love. I'm about to stamp love. Show some love to our friends out at Chartier and pay them a visit. Even if it's just for a loaf of their amazing sourdough, it is truly phenomenal. Um, do I want hello? Do I want uh, love? I just want love, I think. So this one is love and, but we know... We don't have to have that whole thing. I need a bigger block, actually. Sometimes I find bigger blocks are easy when, easier when you're doing um, some small stamping like this. Oh, Michelle's going too. Yes, I know. Chartier, you're so... They're so different, unique, fun. I'm wondering um, if we should do 
the tasting menu. They do a six course tasting menu, which I don't know, I think might be right up our alley. But then I, the control freak in me wants to um, <laughs> tell them which items I want off the regular menu included in the tasting menu because <laughs> I don't want to miss out on those either. It's like the tasting menu is unknown. I'm just going to trim this down a little bit. It seems a little clunky for that tiny little love. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Would you do the tasting menu, six course tasting menu, or would you, or are you the type of person that likes to just know exactly what they're ordering, exactly what's in it, exactly what to expect? Love you. Should I put it here? That's kind of fun. Love you. These little gems are so pretty. Uh, so Michelle, you're not answering. Are you going to do a tasting menu? Or are you going to control the situation and get exactly what you want before Chartier closes? <laughs> are you going to go and have some haricot vert? Their green beans are kind of legendary, cooked in like maple, like a tempura batter and then maple syrup drizzle over top. It's so spicy and fun. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, there are your five cards. Oh my goodness. They're so cute, right? And they come together so quickly and easily. Again, if you missed any of those, if you want to know how to put those together when you actually purchase the kit from me, haha, um, then just come back to this video. It'll be on YouTube and Facebook. Um, it'll be on Facebook starting tonight. Okay, let me tell you now where you can find these supplies. So of course that kit is available from my kit's um, stash. I call it my kit stash because it is really a stash. It's like a stack of them. I have an inventory. So if you're ever feeling like you want uh, a little kit fun immediately and you don't want to wait for it, just reach out to me because I have a whole bunch and I'd be happy to send you my list. Um, on page 36, this sentimental park is a great, um, it doesn't say that it's new actually, but it's new. Isn't that new? <clears throat> no, I guess it's been out before. This one's really wonderful because you can put these sayings together so perfectly with a stamp, sorry, with a kit like this. <clears throat> Excuse me. Another great saying set is this wonderful thought. And this is one that has a coordinating die pack, but if that's not your bag, just get it on its own. It's so versatile. You've got every saying that you could ever need right in that set. Now, the next one that I want to showcase is this Happy Labels. This is one, another one that's just so versatile. And I like things like, life is better with you, love you and miss you, you are my happy place. Oh, what a wonderful saying. And then this one is Timeless Arrangements. And for this one, you've got, again, lots of like buildable sayings. So great for cards like this or any paper pumpkin where... Um, you are getting a refill but not getting the stamps that go along with it. Okay, first official club cards. So those previous cards, I don't call them official club cards because they're not given out to everybody. They're given out to people who pick up their cards um, from my house. Instead of me paying for postage to send the projects to you, I put them out and then you pick them up at your convenience. Now, if you're not in Edmonton, I'm sorry, like that, that's like salt in the wound but what I'm what I'm trying to do is allocate the the funds and have it always going back to you getting more projects so if you do live out of town don't worry the postage for the three cards their official club cards are uh, is included so that's okay but if you want that bonus card you can also just arrange to pay some extra postage for that and then I'd be happy to send all of those cards to you so you're not missing out on anything blah 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 do you guys want to see the card it's so cute i just love this one. Oh, so this is featuring our zoo crew designer series paper we used this a couple months ago i think it was in may when it first came out i couldn't wait to get my hands on this and to get it in your hands too and so we made a cute animals on bicycles version 
of a, a layout. I should have had that one as well here, but I don't have it. It's all put away. I'm gonna clean it up. We'll do that to you, hey? But this one is featuring either a version with little dancing animals, or there's also a version with little musical animals or singing animals. So I hope you enjoy the selection that you got. Now let's start to put this one together here. So taking our pool party cardstock, just going to score that. I love, love, love pool party. You guys know that about me. And so this designer series paper, as soon as it came out and it had pool party, I'm like, well, we already know. It's like my favorite already. Don't throw out these clear envelopes. These are perfectly mailable and they're also great to store your cards in so that it uh, doesn't get damaged when you're in your little box and sorting through everything rifling around trying to find the you know the perfect card for the person that you're trying to get a card for stamp and seal here just on the stage and i'm going to take this down kind of as low to the bottom of the opening as possible just double check the opening of your card that gets everyone every now and then right <laughs> you want your card to open up and not be upside down now we're going to put on some dimensionals here dimensionals dimensionals I'm putting on quite a few one two three four and then two on each of these little side curtains and there we go. so starting at the sides and we're going to work our way up to the top I'm just taking the backers off of these ones here and I'm going to put them down just 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 past this little connection um, at the corner there just so that it lines up has enough room here I love this layout it's kind of inspired by um, a card in the catalog to be honest but I'll show you the difference between that one and this one here this is one of the main differences this is actually a border die that's not included in the zoo crew um, die pack but I think it kind of works perfectly and it's in the same die pack as this awesome little rounded edge to do the stage so now we've got the top of our curtain the sides and we've got our stage we've got dimensionals underneath all the pink parts and then this stage part here is just flat now we can put dimensionals underneath our little critters and we can pop them on oh stop 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 Kelly you're almost getting ahead of yourself this awesome little stamp set includes these great little bonus stamps um, there's these little music notes and then there's this confetti here too so I'm going to use the music notes just with some matchy matchy pool party ink and I don't know exactly you know where my critters are going to go so I'm just going to stamp them kind of all around the background just like this you could use Versamark for this technique as well Versamark is our versatile super sticky ink which um, we use for embossing but we also can use it for tone-on-tone -tone stamping it will mimic the look of all of the different colors of paper so if you were to stamp the, with Versamark it would look like we used pool party ink stamping onto the pool party paper now another thing that we're going to do is stamp onto our little circle so there's some great sayings here in the zany zoo happy birthday to you and you are too wonderful I have happy birthday to you ready to go here so I'm just gonna quickly do that one here happy birthday to you there we go now I'm done with the ink so I can put that away I can put some dimensionals on the back side here too happy birthday to you I'm trying to figure out where it's actually going to be overlapping sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't oh so cute I like to put them kind of downstage like stage front here there we go and then I have a little bit more room to 
put on this little happy birthday to you up here. Ooh, I did do that all right. Just maybe a little bit too far over. There we go. Oh, Fantasia vibes. Totally. <laughs> maybe like cuter, a little less scary, right? <laughs> but yeah, this hippo. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Yeah, totally. Now I'm going to take my little piece of Baker's twine. Now, do you guys remember me mentioning Baker's twine already on this uh, video? This is part of that free gift that I offer for a minimum $100 order. So you can see I'm starting off and then I'm massaging. It's what I call massaging the bow. <laughs> and that is flipping it around so it's not twisted and then pulling and then making it smaller and smaller and smaller. And then you get this tiny cute little bow here. You could leave it long and gangly if you want. No offense to gangly bows. That's a look sometimes. But for this one, I just thought a tiny cute little bow would be perfect. So a bow does not start off being tied like this, right? This is the bow that has been the nest. Okay, so now I've got my cute little tiny bow, and then I'm going to actually take my take a pick tool here and roll the glue dot up kind of in half, and then really press it on there. Okay. Take your pick tool is just so handy, especially if you don't like finicky things. <laughs> it just makes your life so much easier. That is an adorable little bow, if I do say so myself. Now we were debating, how long do you like to leave your ties? This one I think is long. This one I think would be medium and short would be kind of in there. What do you think? Do you like long, medium, short? Type in, I wanna know what you think. And then to finish it all off, we've got some of these um, share what you love um, little pearls here. And these ones are the ones that come in, I think, about six colors. And those are also a part of my gift with a minimum $100 purchase. Now, this card is beautiful like that, but how do we take it to the next level? Well, I think that they need to have sparkly little tutus. You can also color in your animals. You can see they're kind of selectively colored, which is interesting, isn't it? Um, you can also use your stamp and write markers. Like here, this bear used to be white. And then all I did was take the light smoky slate and do a really faint outline around him, like on the letter or on the lines there, and then go over top of it. And we're talking like this much, just to blur that line and make it appear as though he's fully colored. Meanwhile, I've just put a little outline on him. So that's something that you definitely can do. I might do that on, what should I do? On this little lamb's flower, maybe I'll do that. I don't have any other color out than gray, but this will have a nice cute little gray flower on there. There we go. I love this design of space paper. You could really go to town with coloring it. Some of the coloring is there and it's perfect just the way that it is, or you can just take it up a notch. So again, come, coming in, I'm going to do a little tutu coloring. On this musical one, I colored in here and colored the flute. You can choose to color everything with Wayne Costello if you want. I love it. It's like a clear shimmer so like kind of a platinum shimmer gets put onto it and you can go over it a few times and just keep adding more and more shimmer as it dries it just sparkles bubbles and then sets into the paper i don't know if you can see that there i'm not going to work with my lighting tonight doesn't want to play along there we go a little bit of a flash Wink Costella, such a good product. Okay, let's talk about where these products come from in our catalog. 
So again, we haven't used anything from the mini catalog yet because that isn't active until September 6th. So we're working all out of the main annual catalog until September 6th. So next month, buckle up because I'm going to be featuring a lot from that new mini catalog. On page 47, this is our Zoo Crew um, collection here. And I want to zoom in on this cute little card here, which kind of gave the inspiration. Now, this one you can see is a little bit narrower. It doesn't span like this um, curtain, doesn't span the full length of the card. It just is kind of in a little bit. And that's because they use the dies that are included in this coordinating die pack. This is a great die, and I'm not saying that it isn't, but for this, I wasn't sure the size of the characters that you're going to have on your little stage, and so I wanted to make sure that the stage was as big as possible. This die here is just a bit shorter than the one that I used, so it's great for a lot of different applications for giving that cute little scallop look, but I wanted to make a bigger stage for you this month, so I used a different die. Do you guys know which one it is? I'll give you a minute to kind of type it in while I keep showing you this suite. This suite is so great because it has the designer series paper in it. You've got this adorable stamp set so you can recreate your own designer series paper or recreate all of these different characters and do different color schemes. And um, this one here isn't included in the paper. Oh no, it is. I'm, I'm lying because I totally see it right there. But it has a little character from each of the different designer series paper sheets. So cute. And of course, with the coordinating die pack, you get the dies to cut out those images plus extras like the little curtains here that I used. You also have a little stool. What is this? Hmm. What could that be for? Little. Oh, I know. Little. Um, are they hot dogs? <laughs> what is that? You've got cute little Christmas trees. This is an adorable little tag. Flowers, clouds, little tiny flowers, um, like a cup, balloon. Oh, all kinds of fun things there. What are those little, what are these ones? Do you guys know? What's that? Hmm, interesting. Do they have it on the samples? No, it's a mystery. <laughs> I like stuff like that. Um, okay, we've got on page 132, um, a little bit more of a showcase here of the designer series paper, but nothing will showcase it like in real life. So I'm gonna show you that. There's the animals on wheels. We used that last month and then the backside is all these graphic prints are so cute. This one here is um, happy party animals. And then you've got little black and white stars on the back. The next one, animals doing self care, like art, knitting, reading, yoga, cooking. I love that. And this little scallop is adorable. And then we've got musical animals and so we've used some of these on some of the projects tonight on the back side of that one are these little lines and then this one here is uh, the dancing one. Oh, sorry on the back side of the other one were these little dots these ones have the little lines on the back side i love these reindeer they're the cutest i think yes yeah, zootopia hot dogs i know i think it's hot dogs too michelle and that because it makes me think of this He's roasting a marshmallow there, but maybe you want to make him roast a hot dog? I don't know. <laughs> this one is one of my favorites. I like the little hiking pig and this um, lion roasting a marshmallow over the fire. Oh, so cute. And skunks are cute, but I'm a little bit triggered by skunks right now because we've got a lot of skunks in our neighborhood. We've got a skunk that keeps hanging out at our front porch. <laughs> so if you're coming to pick up your supplies, just be cautious. Especially at nighttime, he likes to come out at night. Um, he's a brave little guy, but nothing like my sister-in-law who had a camera catch 12 skunks parading between her standing on her driveway 
and the interior of her garage which was open oh my gosh that video is crazy um and they just pranced by like it was nothing a mom and her babies i think it was but there was like a sea of skunks that went by <laughs> like a nightmare on page 137 we used our wink of stella and page 160 again that zany zoo then we've got some of our other dies, these basic borders. These are the ones that I used for the top of that curtain and the stage. These are border dies, and they're really neat because they actually stitch on either side of the cutting edge. So this is like a um, version of clouds, and we've got like a point. These are the ones that I used on the project. So this is like a... I don't know, it almost looks a little bit Moroccan or something like that. But I thought it looked like the top of the stage um, curtain. And then this is the bottom of the stage. And then also here we've got this, what do you call this shape? I don't know. It's a really fun scallop with a stitch. And then this is like a zigzag there as well. So really awesome shape. And those ones there are called basic borders. Again, all of those do stitching on both sides of the cutting edge. Oh, there's one that doesn't. Sorry. I don't want to lie to you. Five out of six of those have um, stitching on both sides of the cutting edge. Then last but not least, the little circle here came from our stylish shapes. This is a great basics pack and it gives you a ton of circles, a ton of um, squares, and then these rectangles that have the fishtail ends in four different sizes. You'll get so much use out of these, you guys. Just order them and be happy you have them. Okay, next project. Uh, where is it? There we go. Looks something like this. Yeah, the skunks definitely do want to be our friends. I do not want to be friends with skunks. Thank you very much. One of them actually was there, no joke, half an hour after I had what was it, um, 10 people leave from a class from my house. The last person left and then half an hour later, my husband went out and sure enough, he was right there, right next to the steps. <laughs> ah! <laughs> I'm glad it was him and not you guys because that could have been bad, right? So here we go. We've got a masculine card that we're doing next with a fishing theme and I have two different layouts for you to choose from. So this one here is the one that I kind of initially had planned. And it's a little bit more of like a museum version of the fish. Like these are different types of fish. Um, but I really love the texture on this card and we're gonna add some color onto this textured rope embossing folder impression that I've done there. And um, then this amazing woven ribbon here is just perfect I think for this application it's a part of a suite actually that's kind of pottery themed but I really liked that it kind of tied it all together I think perfectly and it's uh, so easy because it's already done woven like this and it's you, you could do that threading probably yourself and figure that out how to do it but oh my goodness then you've got a lot of time on your hands so I'm calling this the museum version and I'm calling this one like the, a little bit more of an avant-garde version. So this one is horizontal and the fishes are going in all different directions. And I think this one's about to be eaten. So you can lay it out however you feel. This one has um, a different style of ribbon, which you might have included in your kit. A few people did just to switch it up. And uh, I really like the woven look of that one too. So I think either of those really, um, is beautiful. Let's start to make this card though. You're going to want to grab crumb cake ink and a blending brush. So crumb cake ink oops, and a blending brush. And that's to make this little piece of textured paper just stand out even more. So you can see the texture maybe when I put it like that. But um, when I put the crumb cake ink over the top of it, I have to grab a little sheet of paper for a minute. I always kind of start off the paper just in case there's a big ink splotch. 
And then I kind of move it sideways. Oh, there, that's kind of an ink splotch. It's funny how that happens sometimes. Even after the fact, you can kind of go in and blend it a little bit and it seems to even it out. It's supposed to look handmade. That's what we tell ourselves, right? There we go. I'm happy about that. And now I'm not going to use this crumb cake ink anymore. I'm going to use my mossy meadow for my saying. Now the saying that I'm using is coming from this Waves of Inspiration stamp set. And this is actually kind of on theme, right? Because it's got the wave and either the ocean or a lake. I think these are probably lake trout. Uh, I'm going to say this is a lake trout, but that's just me who doesn't know fish. Oh, is this a salmon? I don't know. Um, <laughs> anyways, I'm going to use the little happy birthday on there. That's what I used here for our little tag. But I'm also going to feature this beautiful wave. And I did that on the inside of the card here. So I just love the look of that. This is stamped in the boho blue on the inside. And you can do it horizontally or vertically. This Waves of Inspiration has a beautiful um, die pack that goes along with it too. Okay, where did I put my mossy metal? There it is. And happy birthday. Now this one here I know is mounted a little bit crooked from yesterday. So let's see if I can get it to stamp straight. I can lift up the H a little bit. Hey, that's pretty perfect. I'm having such good luck today. I should go get a lottery ticket. Who knows? Maybe I'll be a winner. I actually did want to get one of those uh, draw entries for the, um, which one was it? The Stollery. That home looks so beautiful. I can't imagine living in a home like that, but it would be fun. So I had trimmed it down just vertically a little bit because I didn't stamp it centered vertically. So you can choose to do whatever you want there. And if you want to have like a larger saying, feel free to grab a piece of vanilla from your stash and you can just stamp onto that. This is just, again, my idea, but you guys can switch it up. This is your project. Put on some little dimensional pieces there and there. And while I'm dimensionaling, I'm gonna put some dimensionals on the back side of these fish. These are cut right out of the amazing designer series paper. I like that they come all colored, all different sizes and types of fish. And so you can just put them onto your project really quickly and easily. Just a little bit of cutting involved. Now, for layering our pieces up, let's put um, some stamp and seal onto the back side of our rope embossed vanilla that we inked up with crumb cake. That's going to go into the green. Then I put dimensionals on the back side of the green. Yeah, no stamps. No stamping for um, my skunks, please. <laughs> I'm just reading Michelle's comment. She wants to learn how to stamp. No, not invited. I'm just terrified that he's going to make it underneath the um, fence and spray our very curious puppy who wouldn't know anything about what the heck that animal was. Should show her pictures or something like bad, bad skunk. Danger. How do you train a dog? Danger skunk. You hope that they know it, but I don't know. I don't have faith in her knowledge of what's good and what's not. I'm going to, what did I do here? I think actually for my sample, you guys get that? I just put dimensionals between the two different colored cardstocks there. Everything else got stamp and seal. And then on the back side here, I'm going to just put on some. Stamp and seal and wrap this ribbon around. I'm going to put it low on the other one. I like the look of that. There we go. And then now, putting even more stamp and seal on there. It's been so long that I've been using stamp and seal, I'm actually not even um, 
saying the check mark anymore. So what I do is I put the um, adhesive on and then I just go check, moving it like a check mark to the side. And that bring, breaks the string of adhesive so that it doesn't um, unravel maybe more than what I want. Keeps the adhesive on the tip. Okay, making sure your card opens the right way. I'm doing the museum version again here. What do you guys think about the uh, wild wheat? It's kind of fun in this application, isn't it? It's not a color that I normally would gravitate towards, but I have to say for this card, I like it. Happy birthday, kind of going half over that ribbon, so it's kind of poking out there. And now I can put on my fishes. So starting, where do I want to start here? I want to just loosely put them on so I can pick them up and then I'll press them down afterwards. If I need to move them. This is quite a, a lot of big fishes actually. There we go. I think that's good. Might have to go a little bit lower with the happy birthday there. Cute. Press that on. There you go. Now for the inside, I'm just going to take that little piece of vanilla, taking my huge, beautiful stamp, and inking that up with the coordinating color here, Boho Blue. This is a lot of our new in colors actually in this designer series paper. So this new wild wheat is a new in color. The green is mossy meadow, which is actually an in color that was brought back from many years ago and is now a core color. So that's kind of fun. There we go. So gorgeous. And now We'll just stick some stamp and seal on that. And pop this on. So for some reason, I like to put it on this way. There we go. And whenever I stamp something really fresh and I want to press it on, I just go from the back side. Then if a little bit blots off, it blots off onto the paper. And I don't have it smeared all over my hands. Cute, right? Who is the Fisher person in your life that is going to receive this card? I can think of a few in my life. Now, for finding these supplies, you can find them on page 79 is this Let's Go Fishing Suite. And it includes the Gone Fishing stamp set, the designer series paper, and you can also get these adorable dies. So this die here is a little bit hard to understand maybe, um, but they've got it shown really well in the sample right here at the top. This is a little tackle box that you can cut out with cardstock using these dies that are included in the pack. So the dies include um, water and then a whole bunch of lures and cutting out these fish and um, different things. So I really love this set, but you can use this for many different things too. It doesn't have to just be a tackle box. It could be a bento box. You could snip off these little tabs and then it becomes just a beautiful frame and you can put pictures in there or even feature designer series paper in a fun collage on a card. So definitely take a look on Pinterest if you're deciding between some stamp sets and wanting to like be inspired creatively. It's a great place to be. Page 113, this Waves of Inspiration is the one that had that happy birthday that I used and also of course that gorgeous wave. Now take a look at the Waves dies on page 167 because those ones are so gorgeous too. Now I only have a part of a Designer Series paper pack left actually. So this Let's Go Fishing are some of the um, colors and combinations that I didn't use on these cards just because I wanted to do something a little bit more um, cohesive with the greens and browns and blues. These ones are quite blue, so we might play with these in the coming months to see 
you know, what we might create there. And then this one here was um, more of that fishing rod one, which has a great little knotted net background there too. Beautiful, right? I like that the fish come all in different sizes. Like these ones are quite large from the sheets that I used. Um, and then some of them are a little bit smaller, like this blue ones. Page 137, we use the blending brushes with our crumb cake ink. We use the natural wavy trim. This one comes with 10 yards and uh, it's just so perfect, isn't it? It almost looks like um, fly fishing lure knots or something like that. Um, it evokes like a little bit of a natural look. And then the Misty Moonlight Inner Braid Ribbon was the secondary one that I used for some of the cards here. Page 169, that twisted rope embossing folder is a brand new one. Did you guys see this when you looked through the catalog? It's really fun to create a lot of texture and uh, it's quite zoomed in like with the pattern. And so I, find, I feel like it can, you know, read as twisted rope or it can also just read as like a beautiful textured background too. Okay, you guys ready for the last card here? Ooh, all my cards don't want to stay over there. Stay. Okay, here we go. It's going to look something like that. Your designer series paper is going to look different, though. Everyone, I think, pretty much has a different designer series paper to work with. <laughs> and that's because I'm using this One Horse Open Sleigh designer series paper. Now, do you want to see some of the colors that, or sorry, the patterns that I haven't sent out? And that was just because it didn't work with the scoring. It was going to make it scored right in the cabin or right in the middle of the fox. But I love these. Like this one is really special. I, I love the look of that. Uh, let's see here. That one I did use. All these are so pretty, right? A cute little deer. That's the one that I have there. And... Maybe that's it. Yeah, I think so. Um, there's, of course, 12 different patterns. I just don't have them all to show you here. But let me show you the card that we're actually making. This designer series paper was just too gorgeous. I did not want to cut into it. I wanted to use all six inches of the width of it. And then instead, I just cut actually a half an inch off the top or the bottom, whichever one was more boring for the design and we could do without that. So with this design here, we're going to be making a, a 3D card that actually stands up like this. And then when you look at the front of it, it's this beautiful kind of 3D vista that you get to peek into, and it just seems to go on and on and on because we haven't cut that designer series paper. It's just going. Oh, Shada, you're watching it again from last night. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so glad that you're here. I know I love this card as well. So you're wondering, where do you write your saying? Well, on the back side here, we've got this little spot where we can stamp a saying and then write a saying as well. And it's great because this will actually fold flat and you can write right on it. And it will fit into a regular size envelope as well when you fold it flat, either that way or that way, however you're folding it. It will go into a standard envelope, clear or um, if you prefer paper, it will also go into that. So we've got two different color schemes. This is the more blue color scheme. I'm going to be making one of those here tonight. The one that I made last time was this more green color scheme. And this is actually um, Lost Lagoon is the bluey kind of color. And then Mossy Meadow is the green color. But I just love the way this looks. And then again on the back side, we've got this great spot to put. A saying. So the saying stamp set that I'm using is Brightest Glow. So if you have that one, it will do the horizontal sayings, either Seasons Greetings or Happy Holidays, whatever you choose. Happy Holidays or Seasons and Greetings. And then on the back side, you can put um, another saying that is a little bit bigger from there as well, or just even a big Merry Christmas on there. It would look beautiful too. I don't know what I'm going to do this time. I think season greetings and then wishing you a season of hope and light. I think that is beautiful. 
finishing you a season of hope and light with that mounted up. And then I think this one is already mounted. Here we go. Season greetings. I'm going to use Misty Moonlight, which is the coordinating color of um, for this one here with the blues. And then if you wanted to, you could use, again, the Mossy Meadow or Lost Lagoon would be the coordinating colors. Or, of course, you can choose to just do black or um, even a gray would look nice. Okay, so Misty Moonlight. Try not to ink myself up here. I'm going to get out my two pieces of basic white that I'm going to stamp on too. I'm going to do Seasons Greetings. And I think this went straight the other day, so that's good. Let's see if I can keep up my luck today. Oh, I'm doing well. I'm on a roll. And then wishing you a season of hope and light on the back side here in the middle. Then I think to finish it off, it's beautiful to add in a snowflake. This one here is from Season of Chic, which has um, different elements for all the different seasons. So we've got spring flowers, summer seashells, we've got a snowflake for winter, and um, leaves for the fall. And then we've also got all these great little sayings here that um, are perfect for all different occasions all throughout the year. Even this one that says you make each season of life even more beautiful. I think that would be fun to do as like a like an interactive card where you're going through all the different seasons like maybe like a tower card I was thinking would be really fun. Okay so now I've done that I better close this up so that I don't ink myself up. Whew. Lucky lucky. Now let's start layering some of these We've got um, this background piece, which is going to go on to a Knight of Navy piece. Knight of Navy. And then the color of ink that I used was the Misty Moonlight, which is a lighter version of a navy. And that's the color that I have here as the accent blue color. So if you're wondering between the two colors, Night of Navy and Misty Moonlight. Now, when we're putting our card together, I've got it pre-scored here for you. So what did we say that that was scored at? I measured it yesterday because I thought that I had saved my proper template. I use grid paper as a template sometimes whenever I'm designing a card. So this wasn't quite the one because this is an inch here. And I think we ended up doing three quarters of an inch, seven eighths of an inch in from both sides. So you're just gonna score these just like this so that it folds your card like that. We like to use the bone folder to really burnish those and make them press down nicely. So now when we go to the back side, we can glue this on. Doesn't that look beautiful? I love the back side of this paper too. That's why I wanted to do a card like this. It showcases the front and the back side of the paper. Okay, do I have it the right way? Yes. <laughs> it never hurts to double check. Because when you don't, that's when it gets you, right? So we've got this here happening at the back. And then let's go to the front now. Maybe I'll leave this one still at the back so you guys can see that. So stamp and seal all along the back side of the white. And we're going to adhere that onto this blue. This is the darker blue. Again, this is Knight of Navy. If you're making the green and blue version, like this green version, you're putting it onto Mossy Meadow. And then I put dimensionals on the back side of this. So on the back side of the darker color. There you go. And that's going to go on to this blue piece, this lighter blue piece, or the um, Lost Lagoon piece. 
if you're using your other color scheme. And now you'll see, oh my goodness, look at this, you guys, three different lengths there. So crazy. Anyways, now's our chance to fix it. Just go in with your snips, or in this case, I'm using my ribbon scissors because I'm being a little bit of a rebel. And you just snip that off so it's all the same length. It doesn't matter because this can be adjusted here to fit whatever width. So I'm going to use um, some tear and tape. And this is going to go not all the way across the card because we don't want to glue it shut. We want there to be no adhesive from here to here. Okay. We only want adhesive behind there and behind here. So I'm going to do a double wide application. There we go. And this one here. And then again, take your pick tool makes it so much easier to pull this off. Here, the kids are home from baseball. It's bath time now. <laughs> They're having fun up there. Okay, so how I put this together is I kind of go maybe like three quarters of an inch from the bottom, and then I line it up right with the edge over here. And then I'm going to take it right across, and you can fold it down like this too. That might work for you. I found that I wanted it to line up perfectly, so I kind of had to bend it a little bit just to make it hit properly there. So now we've got that season's greetings coming right across there. The next part here is to put on these gorgeous snowflakes. And these snowflakes are put on, actually adhered to the back of that blue piece. Can you guys see that there? Um, this one, the smallest one, gets adhered to the front. These other ones go straight onto the back. So the first thing you're going to want to do is pop out the little bits from this that are still attached. I like using my dye brush. Oh, take care, Michelle. Great to see you. So I like to just rub this around with this dye brush. And... Pull off these extra little pieces. Oh, that one's a little bit more stuck than normal. Isn't it? There we go. It's nice because this glitter paper is so um, durable, isn't it? And if you're wondering which pieces actually come out, you might want to look at the back. <laughs> that will show you a little bit more easily. And don't worry about dye brushing the smallest one because that one has no pieces that pop out. <laughs> You'll be there all day trying to separate it, but. Um, it just comes just like that. Okay, so now we'll take our sticky strip and we're gonna use this as a, as a kind of a non-conventional, in a non-conventional way. We are going to stick this onto the back side here. So sticking it here onto the back side, and then I'm going to take this and just put it right underneath, just like that. So now it's peeking out the top. Same thing for this one at the bottom. And so I'm putting the medium sized snowflake on the bottom. The large one is going on the top and I'm not taking off the backing of this. It's going to just stay on there so it's not sticky at all. So that way it can fold flat and then it will just pop right back up. So thinking about this in a little bit of a different way, thinking of it like more of a, like a scotch tape kind of thing, like a super sticky scotch tape. So we're not going to take off that backside. We're just going to glue it on to the back of that beautiful blue cardstock. Then this final one here goes on with a dimensional. Just a mini dimensional on the backside there. Fits perfectly. As long as you can get the backer off. There we go. And that's what it did right there. And now we're going to stick on our little gems here. You can fold this flat and put some even on the back side if you want. The back side meaning the back of the front, if that makes any sense. 
And there we go. And there we go. Five beautiful gems on a card with three snowflakes that pops up and stands beautifully on the table. I love this card and the versatility. You could just get a pack of this designer series paper and go to town with all of the different patterns and designs making all kinds of cards like this. It would be really easy to mass produce, especially, you know, if you've got quite a few cards that you want to make and you want them to feel special and unique. You have 12 different patterns to work with with this designer series paper. So let's talk about where those products come from as you're finishing up your cards. I'm going to leave just one of these actually visible. There you go. And um, this big pink flag is to tell you that this is an online exclusive, this paper pack. So One Horse Open Sleigh is what it's called. And you can purchase that on my online store while supplies last. So make sure you get your hands on that sooner than later. Don't delay on it because I would hate for it to sell out or for you not be to be able to have it right at Christmas time. On page 40, you can see the Season of Chic stamp set that I used for that snowflake. And then, uh, oh, I didn't use the sayings for that this time. They have great sayings for different occasions, but not really for Christmas. So I wanted to use one that was completely dedicated to Christmas. And that was the brightest glow. And so that has that season's greetings, happy holidays, and then all those different great sayings to put on the back or inside of your cards. Then as we go to the back of the catalog here, we've got our more dazzled paper. So it's not be dazzled anymore. That was the name of it when it was celebration product. And when it was a celebration product, it was just this champagne color. Now we actually have a gold color too. And when you look at it, it's like um, disco fish. <laughs> it makes me think of fish scales. So um, I was really happily surprised that in this application, this disco kind of feeling doesn't come across too much. It just kind of comes across as sparkly. So I think you could get a lot of different fun looks with this paper. And again, it's easy to die cut too. So even though it's thick and specialty and really blingy, you can still die cut it as well. I wanted to highlight our tear and tape adhesive, which comes in a giant roll there and is such a versatile product. And we use it in kind of a different way, almost using it like a super sticky scotch tape without taking the backing off. So you can feel on the inside here on my card, it's not sticky at all. And that's so it can fit into that regular size envelope. And I, that's one of the things that I love best is not having to make an envelope. <laughs> all right, page 140. I used our fantastic rhinestone basic jewels. If you have those already in your collection and you want to switch it up a little bit, we have iridescent rhinestones somewhere. Where are they? Iridescent rhinestones. No. Iridescent pearls we have now. What am I thinking of? Am I imagining this? Yeah, I'm imagining it. <laughs> okay, sorry guys. We've got rhinestone basic jewels. Oh, what I was thinking was that you could actually color them with um, the Stampin' Blends. I don't know why my brain went to iridescent, but <laughs> I knew I was going to say something about them because I did it last night. But again, brain gone. Page 163, we've got this chic dies. I want to show you those because they're so versatile and fun. Of course, they go with the stamp set. So you've got images like this larger shell, larger snowflake this leaf outline and this flower outline that go along with the stamp set. And then you've got all these images that can be used on their own. So the snowflakes, you've got this really cool pattern that you can impress into the paper, or you can die cut it out and adhere it onto the paper. Um, adhesive sheets are going to be your best friend when you're doing something like that, that makes it so easy and not finicky at all. Same thing with anything detailed like these flower outlines. I just love those so much. And if you put adhesive sheets onto the back of your cardstock before you die cut it, it turns it into a sticker. So it doesn't matter that it's finely detailed. You don't have to worry about using a liquid glue to try and glue it down. You can just pop it right onto your paper because it's turned into a sticker. Same thing with the leaves. You've got flowers, you've got seashells. I just love this pack got lots of great dyes for all different occasions and it kind of just covers you in a pinch so again that's the chic dyes 
And there you have it, folks. Now the most important part of the night. And I don't know how many of you are watching, but I want to hear from you in the future. I want to know which was your favorite of the cards that we made tonight. So this, these little cuties, or our beautiful in color cards that we made. Which ones do you like best? Oh yes, Priscilla, did you just tune in? Yeah, you'll have to catch the replay. But I do want to know which cards do you like the best? This is so important to me because I always strive to really give people a variety of cards um, when they get a card class from me. So I would hope that, you know, one or many of them would be to your taste, but it's always a sampling. So you can see here, I've gone more masculine. We've got Christmas, we've got cutesy, and then we've got really bold colors. So always switching it up for you and keeping it fresh and fun. So I would love to hear from you uh, what you like best. So again, if you are interested in some in-person crafting, I sure hope that you can come. This coming Tuesday, so a week from today, if you're watching this live, or in the future, it's um, August 29th from 6.30 to 9.30. I'm holding an in-person class in my stamping studio in South Edmonton. And uh, you have to RSVP in advance so that I can save your spot and save your materials. We're going to be stamping a stack of cards, 22 cards in three hours, and it's all from Stampin' Up! kits. So normally I do about an hour's worth of talking in the beginning and a demo of the projects, but this class is going to be so different because I just want to catch up and visit with you guys. All the projects are going to be so simple to create. They're going to be laid out on the table so that you understand exactly what components need to be stamped and then how to put them together to craft your cards. And we're just going to visit for the whole time. So please invite your friends, sign up and register to save your spot. And you too can stamp a stack of cards in just three hours. I hope that you will join me then. Anyways, it is so, so good to see you, to stamp with you. And I hope that we can stamp together very, very soon.